Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here, joined by Mutanod for our Secrets of Grindia Let's Play and hopefully not die this time around. Uh, AKA episode the Duchess. Five. And yes, we have the Duchess of Mutanod joining us. What's this button do? Oh no! What have I done? Fancy words that we've read before. No, what do you mean, greed of humans? We're not greedy. Just escape. It's time to do murderous things. Alright, the ancient weapon. We must kill it, we must destroy it, we must somehow not die to it. There's no guarantee that that's going to happen. I have used my shield for you, good sir. Watch it though. Oh, you walked oh, into geez. it. And he got punched again. Definitely not Mutana's strongest showing. Alright, wait for it. And up and over. Attack. I wish that didn't do damage to us. It's kind of annoying that it guarantees 30 damage to us each time. Granted, 30 is not much in the way of damage, but still. Why? It's minorly inconvenient. Ugh. I have shielded us once again from trouble. And up. And at him. Still did 30 damage, even with a shield on. I don't know what that thing actually does. Uh-oh. That doesn't look pleasant. Ow, I got hit by one. Oh gosh! Oh, there's so many things flying at me right now. Oh crap. He's on fire. Oh gosh! I lived somehow. Oh, you're a cloud. Eh. Alright, I have done it. It's time to go up and over again. Do we have enough oomph to take him down? Alright, well, he's we. He's cheating on purpose. We don't know what's next. <laughs> oh, you're a ghost. I'm sorry, I totally didn't even notice. Yeah, Come somehow to I died from up top there. And I died too. Like, I don't know what killed me when we were up top on the robot. But something did. Do I, I think we just had to survive his last little over thing while he overheats. Yeah, look, there's a counter oh. to the right. All right, well, at least we know now. Surprise! All right, guys, well, there we go. We figured it out. We're waiting on Mutana to hit his button so we can actually start, but he doesn't like doing things like that. Uh, yeah, every time we get knocked off of him, it's 30 damage. Ah. I didn't realize you were a ghost. Yeah, I'm like, what's he doing? He's... he's... I thought perhaps that we uh, just had to go and murder him somehow, but apparently we just have to survive the onslaught. All right, well, we can do that. And by we can do that, I mean it's probably not going to happen, but it might. We will kill you, and you will die. I will say that I don't get a lot of attacks off against this guy. Like, I hit hard, but... You get like 19 or 20, oh gosh, 20 attacks off at once. I get next to none. Alright, and up and over. See, even with the shield on, it doesn't seem to do anything. See, 30 damage done right there. He's not great. He's not good. Alright, and another couple of attacks. Oh, don't run to me! Why would you run on top of me? I didn't. You ran into where I was going. I was trying to stay in a corner away from you. I, that's the only way I could go. I'm going this one little corner. Surely he move. won't just run right on top of me. You just All you had to do I was, was keep wrong. running. All you had to do was not stop. But you didn't. You stopped. And you paid for it. All you had to do was not run on top of me. This is awful. Come to me, 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 or I'm on top of you. You had me all the way healed. 
You Up until just, the last second you moved. You just teleported. You're still standing still, nowhere near me. Come to me. I'm, I'm assuring you I'm moving right now. The game's lagging. Come, come, come on. There you go. I, there I was it right is. on top of me until you moved. Now you have to go. Eventually, there it is. He's back alive, guys and gals. He finally figured out how to walk. That whole time, you're like, come to me, come to me. I was. Yeah, you weren't moving. You were just sitting there. All right. Now we can go for the final kill blow. With the come to me, which, uh, shout out to one of the old Dota 2 players of, I guess, old. All right, now we have to dodge forever and ever and a day. Don't know that we can do that. We have 23 seconds to dodge. Is that going to be a thing we can do? Oh, I'm lagging. You are lagging. Not with that, I can't. You just dodge the stuff if you can. Five seconds. It's still targeting me, that's funny. Good, stay on the ghost. Come to me. Aha! I healed you. I'm a hero! We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. That was nice of the uh, barrage to continue to try to kill me. It was unfortunate that there was lag. Curse it all, my new one freedom thwarted by a couple of snot-nosed children. My vessel was badly chosen to bring this world to its knees. I'll need something more befitting my limitless power. For exposing the deficiencies of this metal golem, I have a generous proposition for you. Become my slaves and carry me through this pathetic world in search of a new vessel, and I shall spare your lives. Eh. Back time, your turn. Find a sidekick of your own amulet. This one's already has a master. A fellow sentient artifact. Perhaps fortune signs upon me after all. A king will need generals. Lofty ambitions for a mere possession. That string of yours still bears the smell of your owner's neck. <laughs> owner? Nonsense. How can a slave own his master? Creepy. Your long vacation has made you senile, it seems. Oh, well. Looks like this place hit some real juicy loot after all, kids. Let's bring this back to the collector's HQ. I'm expecting great rewards. Sweet. Dare yeah. not speak of me as some more <laughs> rabbi dry. Can't talk right there. Rabbi drop. <laughs> your laughable delusions in here, peasants. Let me show you the true power of an artifact deity. Ooh, shiny. And I just pick it up. <laughs> oh, well, enough fun for one day. Let's get back to Evergrind. I hope you haven't forgotten how to use your teleportation device. Just go into the map section of the menu, select your destination, and press Z to summon a teleport. Money. Yeah, that, was, that whole time you're like, come to me, come to me. I'm standing on top of you. Yeah, so what happened was you were... Over here, and then all of a sudden, you teleported here, and then I moved. As all the stuff. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm like, I'm almost healed, and then you moved. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, to every grind city we go into the portal of death. Well, well, that was interesting. It was scary. That was a pretty. It nasty took us a, one try fight. to figure out what to do on the end there. Thankfully, I noticed the counter. Like a boss. Yeah, you did. And then you died like a lag. Uh, what do we do with this? Uh, the Traveler's HQ, which is yeah. somewhere. Maybe up this way. Yep, she's still beating on that thing. Hey. Oh. Hasn't your father taught you anything? Commoners should make way for nobility. Peasants these days. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, but I must compliment you on one thing. Hey. This amulet was quite the fine. He just pickpocketed me. It will fit perfectly in my family's artifact collection. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh. <laughs> what? How did he... Unforgivable! Don't let him get away, kids! A thieving rival, just as you were to hand the amulet in, Marino, really that's his name, took him and ran down toward the Evergrind city center. You can't let him push you around like this. Catch up with him and kill him. I mean, take back what is rightfully yours. I like my version better. Hey, get back here. Quick, use the speed boots from Zelda. No? Maybe he's just like a shiny. Where'd he go? He's out there. Cut him off. Oh, hold on. Hey! Well, he's touching you. If I just stole more. Ah. We went on a merry chase throughout the town, but in the end, the Duchess of Dork is going to have to die over here. Oops. Hey, look at this wonderful shiny thing. Really? Hey. 
You really won't give up, will you? Let me seize this opportunity to teach you a lesson about the social order. If you accused me of stealing this amulet, who do you think they believe? The word of some mountain kid or that of a noble? The moment I lifted this thing out of your dirty pouch, it was mine in the eyes of the law. But then again, I haven't gotten to practice my fencing in quite some time, so let's settle this like your kind would. Ooh. Was that cloud to me, right? If you can defeat me, you can have your trinket back. I'll show you how a gentleman fights. All right, Marino. Oh, he's gonna hurt us. He's not really that strong. Oh. Ha! I see your your thrust, and I parry you upside the head. Wow. Oh, hey, oh, he's going crazy. Get him. Your turn. <laughs> Darn it, first Luke, and now this dimwit. Take your worthless trinket. I have no use for it. Barely matches my hair. Let that be a life lesson to you. I can't do multiple voices pushing back and <laughs> forth. Brat, never steal things from people stronger than you. Plus, he looks really creepy. A little bit. That was quite the enjoyable diversion, but we have business to attend to. Let's get back to the Collector's HQ. And turn this thing in. Alright. A thieving rival. I want to steal a sword. Give me your sword. I will poop on you with meteor power. Oh. Alright, there we go. Hey, you went crazy there at the end. I was like, Deep I'm surprised you survived, man. He hit you like 14 times in a row. That was craziness. He's all like, pew pew, and you're all like, uh, uh, and then, yeah. But you're the Duchess, so I guess it's fine. So you're nobility, too. Yeah. You're working for him. Undercover. I'm just a mountain man or goat or whatever it is I am. All right. Hello, sir. My, you've certainly outdone yourselves, clearing a temple on your first assignment. An ancient artifact, you say? That sounds like something for your father to have a look at. We have a father... Woohoo! At my age, it's tough business waking, waking, walking Daddy. up the stairs. Did you bring it to him yourself? He's working in the lab to the right on the top floor. Papa! We're coming, Papa! Wow, that's a giant rabbit that the chick is riding. Who are you talking to here? No hey there, this is the official collector's lab. We work hard around the clock to unravel the truth behind the strange world we inhabit. Is this our Papa? Or oh, over there. Over here is Papa. Let me teleport over there. Amazing. Many collectors live through entire careers without finding an artifact such as this. I'm proud of you, both as a father and as a collector that I've met for the first time today. You've got all the talent of your mother. I'm proud of you. Credit where credit's due, old man. Don't forget the one pulling the strings. Though I will say the kid did rather well. For a shrimp like him, anyway. It's <laughs> not very nice. Of course, thank you for looking after my son, old friend. With your mentoring, I'm confident he will reach his full potential, just As like you and we are best friends. As a psychopathic, uh, homicidal maniac. Mentoring? You bring shame to your kin, you treacherous pouch. Where'd he come from? Oh. What kind of artifact would be for the mortal? Your weakness disgusts me. And yet here we are, amulet. You're on trophy stand and I'm not. I hope your dignity gives you comfort as you rust away in this place while I'm out there finding more artifacts to betray. Also, you only have one eye, so you can only wink. It's true. There is no blinking. Uh-oh. My lady, please! You can't go in there without permission! I don't know why he became a weird uh, Swedish guy, but he did. Collector assignments must go through the proper channels. But I've already tried the proper channels and you won't listen to me. If the Killmaster doesn't want to help us, she can tell it to my sparkling green face. Sparkling green face, you say? Hmm. Come on, let's see what this all commotion's about. Mm -hmm. Our father's weird. He's got multiple personalities. Oh, we should probably be walking. Hey, it's a fairy or something. I understand your frustration, my lady, but I would highly advise against disturbing the master. Master Schmaster, I'm not afraid of some silly shut-in. Open that door or I'll open it myself. Don't be rash. You're clearly in the disadvantage here. Let's just all calm down and be civil. Stupid, stubborn humans. Ah, goodbye, giant door. I wish it hadn't come to this. Really? Uh-oh. You should move. Oh, he did. <laughs> the cards get little angry faces. Oh, dear. It's her, just as I suspected. 
This might actually be great news. Come on, sport, let's go. Yay, we already have cute affectionate nicknames from our father who we just met today. Yay, or something. Jeepers, this place is so creepy. It is a little bit creepy. Thanks, but I can't be phased. I know. Jinkies, thanks. Uh, stick to your guns, Naniva. Hey, lady, I've got business with you. What? Quit staring out the window and look at me in the face. He doesn't have a face. And to think I turned down a bug spray salesman just last week. Quentin, would you be so kind as to bring me the fly swatter? It's right there on the table to the far left. Whoa, that is a heck of a fly swatter. No, wait, I'm not a bug. I'm a... I know what you are, you imbecile. Or imbecile. You're a nosy little fay, and more importantly, a trespasser on our lands. Tell me, Ladybug, why have you crawled out of your secret little city to come here? Because the artifact in the Temple of Season suddenly woke up, and it made the Winter Elders go completely bonkers. Definitely identity crisis. He took the artifact for himself, and now he's stronger than ever, destroying anyone who opposed him. The other elders would sooner die than ask for outside help, but how could I possibly put pride before the lives of my friends? Please, Grandmaster, you have to help us. You fairies could go extinct, and no one in Evergrind would even notice. Why exactly do I have to help you? Because the artifact that's destroying us was made by humans. Oh. Now, now, that's quite the accusation, little one. The Fey only craft with nature, sticks, leaves, and sometimes dung. I mean, stones. The artifact is crafted entirely from rare metals. Who but humans could have made it? Dwarves, perhaps? I won't send people into danger based on the conjecture of a moth. Gods, put the miscreant in the bottle and send her back to where she belongs. Either way! Hmm? Isn't it the duty of a collector to find rare and valuable items that ordinary people cannot obtain? The Temple of Seasons must have great amounts of valuable treasure, not to mention the ancient artifact itself. How can we stand idly by and let this chance slip past us? Whether in the hands of the Fae or in the rubble of the city, the artifacts will surely survive. We do not have any high-ranking collectors to spare for this mission. When we do, we'll bring what we can from the ruins. Jeez, who is she, the devil? My wife, Charlotte, often visited the Fae when she was young. She loved it there. To honor her memory, I'd like to take this mission on, my heart, on myself. All the manpower I need is my own son. With friends, of course. And Mutanat, a cripple, and a couple of kids. Hmm. <laughs> she laughs just like the other guy. Fine, I hand this problem over to you whether you fail or succeed. Make sure that annoying fairy stays where she belongs. Thank you, oh Grandmaster. <sighs> Less talking, more collecting. <sighs> Your wife's name is Charlotte. Hey, that means you're... It's a pleasure to actually meet you, Spring Elder Naniva. I've heard much about you. Yes, that's all very interesting. Now go! In fact, I should put all this. Get out of my office! Slam. Now. Okay. Apologies, Grandmaster. We'll continue the discussion outside, which means Mutanot gets to speak his mind. And by his mind, I mean their mind. Woo! That was... That was... That was so scary! Why do humans have to have a leader like her? I thought it was a gunner for sure. Haha, <laughs> she can be quite intimidating at times, but as a strong leader, you must be that kind of person, I guess. It's fun when she makes death threats. We got what we wanted, that's what matters. Time was of the essence. Let's make haste. Uh, Chief, sorry to interrupt, but we're getting some strange readings we can't quite make sense of. Also, I have We guess. really need you in the lab. Oh, well, then I'll just send my son by himself. It can't be helped, then. I'm not much use in the field with only one arm, anyway. He's only got one arm? What happened to his other arm? Sorry, Neneva, but could you accompany my son to Santa Fe? Of course, would. I would. We may believe children inherit their parents' spirits. It'll be like hanging out with Charlotte again. Yeah, we can go Creepy to Santa male Fe. Charlotte. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you feel that way. I'll be the best sidekick you could ever ask for. I already have a cloud, lady. Oh, my bag fell off again. So yeah, no, this is absolutely not going to happen. Oh, Drat, he already has a sidekick. <laughs> Wait, what? Did you just call me? Bag, please. She might not be your cup of tea to be around, but we need her help. The way to Santa Fe and the artifact is sealed shut by fairy magic. You can probably guess whom he here can use that. Teehee, it's me. <laughs> Perfect. Er. All right, kid, here's the deal. We go to see son, find the secret entrance, have the butterfly cast a spell, and then we leave her. The faster we do all this, the less likely it is I'll throw myself in a fire. <laughs> Cheer up, you graduate Apache, and you and I will make the best sidekick team ever. Just kill me now. I love it. He disappeared. Oh, well. Yeah, all the sidekick now. See you soon, huh, Mr. Husband Charlotte. We're out to save the day. With male, female, Charlotte. <laughs> Please be careful, Spring Elder. I'll keep busy in the lab while I await your return after I completely lied to the Grandmaster and said I'd be going along. <laughs> okay.
Okay, kids, I have a pretty good adventure myself, so I'll be sure to give you some pointers. Ah! <laughs> Flash a smile, let's go! Get some more crack cocaine! <laughs> the Elder Fae of Winter has run amok, and the Spring Elder Ananiva has sought your help. You must go to Sizoni to, to the west of Evergrind City and find the entrance to Santa Fe. Yeah, According she's following to, me. Yeah. She knows who's cool. Uh, no, she's not. She's following me. All right. Hey, listen. When you see this window, I'm giving you a fantastic hint. I hope you like them. Mm. Do we want to? Uh, uh, when you see the "Hey, listen" window, and Aniva is trying to rub some of her stupidity off on you, just ignore her. Maybe she'll shut up and fly into a light or something. <laughs> Alright, what are these people? Hey, you don't have to be so mean. You know, I have feelers too. You know, wait, no, I mean feelings, not feelers. Oh, drats. The accessory shop, eh. I'm not impressed. Let's go kill stuff. What's that? I didn't hear you over the sound of me completely ignoring you, or ignoring you completely. Let's go, kid. Ah, the angst of the bag. So, all that happened. All right, we ready to get killed by the wild pigs or whatever? Did we want to go this way? Uh, we wanted to go west. I don't know where west, but this here is a bush. You can. Oh my god! You can whack it with a weapon to get berries and stuff. Oh, I'm lagging. I just completely missed the rabbit. This is an enemy. Be careful, unlike barrels and stuff, enemies fight back. I'd love to help you out, but these things are like ten times my size. Good job, when you defeat an enemy, they'll drop loot for your fat hey, bag to up gobble here. up. Alright, I'm on my way. I'm enjoying our uh, amazing new... You guys uh, are collectors, right? Could you help me with something? Bring your friend over here so I don't just shout, please. You do realize we've been doing this for a while, right? Or before we met you, right? Shut up. Okay, where are you at over here? Okay. I'm here. I wish I could be one too. I'm being forced to take care of these chickens all day long, and now one of them seems to have gotten lost. Could you find her for me? I can't leave these chicks, or I can't leave or these chicks will starve. Chica at the farm in the western Evergrind fields missing one of her chickens. It might be trouble to find it, save it, and bring it back to the farm. Blah blah blah. If you type slash shut up in the chat, what? This is an NPC, non-player character that you can interact. Oh my gosh, so good. Oh, I lit the chicken on fire. Maybe that's not the play. There's a rock over here that the chicken stuck behind. There we go. Like, do we have to, like, corral all her chickens in, or... Is there, like, an actual missing one somewhere? There's one over here behind this rock. There is. Using a skill costs energy points. Well, do we know how to break the giant rock? I am assuming no. Okay. Well, I guess we head west further. Was there anything else up top? Not really. Onward we hey, go. Maybe we'll find the rabbit. Chicken? Something. The chicken rabbit? Why is there a half naked lady over here? Why wouldn't there be one? That's a good point. Hello, snowman. Do you wish to speak to me? No, you're just a casual snowman, huh? It's not I your found job Santa Claus! What have we got here? A barrel? Press X button to whack it until it breaks. I found Santa. Come here. Where? Ho, ho, how? My back won't be jolly about this one. Hey, you look... Oh. Okay. You look young and lively and collectors to boot. Maybe you could give old Santa a hand. I was riding through the woods, minding my own business, when a big knot of frost lane jumped out and knocked me over. Or knocked over my sled. Worst of all, he stole some of my valuable presents from my bag. I need them back or else the missus is gonna give me an earful. Why did the chicken cross the road? Uh, I forgot the punchline. I've seen that frostling before, and I'm pretty sure he has a secret hideout somewhere east of my toy factory. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the heck are these things? Oh, they're throwing snowballs. Oh, no. And they, they're they hitting me with sticks. 
You know what snowballs don't like? Giant meteors falling from the sky. Well, maybe that's just things that, like, in general. Maybe that's a life lesson, I don't know. Stop moving! Oh, I'm out of ep. I'm lagging so bad. That's good Things for are you. not where they belong. It's good for you. You're, you're kind of getting I'm swinging, rushed. I'm hitting nothing. You're swinging really uh, fast if it makes you feel any better. No, it doesn't. I can't collect money either. I, I... There we go. <sighs> All that oh, sweet loot for me. Oh, you took the health orb. I was missing like five health. Hey, she shouted victory. That's kind of impressive. All right. Well, we're going to continue on up this way, probably. Now, you know what? Let's go into the house. We'll break out the episode here. Maybe we'll try to readdress our lag issues. And then we will be back with another wonderful episode. All right, guys. We'll be back in just a bit with more Grindia. Secrets of Grindia. Until then, he's me, Tanad. I'm Bumpy, and we will see you later.